Hey guys, it's Bethany with the Gypsy Bird Makes podcast, and welcome to a little vlog about how much I knit in a week. several other YouTubers doing similar videos and I thought I'd jump on the bandwagon and see what I knit in a week. I'm going to be working on three different projects throughout the week and I'm just going to see how much I can get done on each one. At the end of each day I'll tally up how many hours and minutes and stitches that I got done for each project and all throughout the day and then I'll be letting you guys know and then at the end hopefully I'll have a grand total. Um, I think it'll be interesting to kind of see how many hours I get to knit in a week and how many stitches. I've done how many stitches in a week previously but it'll be interesting to see if it matches what I did previously. Um, so the first project that I am going to be working on is my bluegrass shawl. This is by Wool and Pine. I'm using all sorts of scraps for this and I'm just trying to get some repeats in each day. Um, my goal for the last couple days has been to do two pattern repeats every day. So that's about 16 rows with the brioche um, and that's eight different colors. Um, so I got, went ahead and put in a little stitch marker right here so we can see the progress that I get done during this week. This one is the progress that I've had since the last podcast. Um, so we're just going to go see how it, see how much we can get done on this one. It is growing, but it needs quite a bit more. Um, so I'm just going to work on that one first, and I'll talk about the other two projects when I get them out in a bit. But yeah, let's get to some knitting. I got the two repeats done on my bluegrass that I wanted to complete, so I'm happy about that. And I'm going to go ahead and move on to my next project, which is in my Cottontail Farms bag. So I'm working on the bubble cardigan. I got the yarn for the collar and hem, all of that stuff. So I'm going to be working on that. I did some last night as well. Um, so last night I did this one. So I just, I need to count and see how many I did, but I did this cuff. I didn't do it as long as the pattern calls for, but I didn't want it that long. So I need to fix this little hole because I didn't have the, didn't know where the needle was last night. Um, but I'm going to, I want to do the exact same thing. So my goal is to do the second cuff on this one tonight. See how long that takes. Um, and then move on to the next project. So we'll see. It'll be interesting to see how long this cuff takes. Tuesday. Um, yesterday kind of was a very off day. Oh, I think I just shook you. Um, so I didn't record anything yesterday, but I did get some knitting in. So we'll chat about that in just a second. Um, but my knitting plans have changed a little bit since I talked to you last. Um, I was wanting to work on every project each day. Um, but I don't feel like I'm wanting to really finish my bubble card again, um, which is another, I didn't even show you all the projects yet. So we'll do that in just a second. But the three projects that I've been working on are my bubble card again, my salty air tea, and the bluegrass shawl. So 
So on Monday, I did work on all three projects and I got a little bit, um, I got my goals done for that day. Um, and then yesterday, I was having a really off day and I just wanted to work on one project. So that's what I did. You see the dogs, they're, they're obsessed. There's like squirrels that go through the pack here and they're like obsessed with them. So that's what they're doing. Um, but I just worked on my bubble cardigan and I think that's what I'm going to do. I really want to finish it before the end of the month. And the end of the month is a Friday. Today's Tuesday. So I have all of today to work on it. Then Wednesday, Thursday, and a buffer on Friday. Um, so let me show you what I have here. So this is the bubble cardigan by Stephen West and it's so pretty. I love how it is working up. So this is what I have. I did this cuff on Monday, which was my goal to do the cuff. I had done the other cuff. No, I did the cuff on Sunday. Sorry. On Sunday, I did the cuff. I think I said earlier Monday when I meant Sunday. Um, but I did the first cuff Saturday and then the second cuff on Sunday. So the first day of this vlog that's counting for. Um, so that was my goal to get that done. And then last night I started on the bottom hem. So I got all of this done last night. Um, and I worked on this solely watching Downton Abbey. I think I watched like four or five episodes of Downton Abbey and just knit on this it was just what I needed for the night. Um, so this is halfway on the rib. There's supposed to be four inches and I have two. So my goal for today is to finish this ribbing. Um, and then I have the collar to pick up and to knit. Um, and that's about three inches. So it's one inch shorter than this. So I'm pretty sure I could get that done um, on Wednesday and Thursday and then have Friday as a buffer to finish this project up for the month of June. Um, so that is kind of what my goal has changed to. Um, I'm really loving this. I want it done. It's been on the needles for quite a while and um, I really want to finish it and get all of these grams and yards for the month of June um, because I haven't finished anything this month. So it would be really great if I had something finished. So that is what is that. On the bluegrass, I did work on it on Sunday. This isn't bluegrass. That's a different one. Um, but I did work on it, um, and I got, I got done what I wanted to. So I got from the little, the little heart up. This is from Lock and Lou. I got all of this done, which is what I wanted. Um, again, I'm loving how this is turning out. I think it's so pretty. But it's going to be on the back burner for a couple of days um, while I get the bubble cardigan done. But I am still making progress. Every night when I'm working on it, I pick out the next day's colors. So these are the eight colors that I will have for the next time. Um, so I'm all set and ready to go when I'm ready to work on that again. And my third project that I've been working on is my Salty Air Tea. I love this so much. It is turning out so pretty. I really love this yarn. Um, it is a cotton alpaca blend, so it's super soft and drapey. Um, but I am just on the stockinette right now. So I put in this marker the other night when I was knitting on it. And I only got a few, a few rows done on that. Um, but I did it when I'm tired at night and I don't want to think about anything. It's just round and round stockinette. So once I finish the bubble cardigan, this will probably be my primary goal. Um, because I mean, I'm pretty good under the, I'm getting pretty far. Um, and then the sleeves are really short. So once I'm finished with this ball of yarn and I have to wind up another one, I'm going to do the sleeves, get those out of the way. And then, hey, quiet. They've decided they want to run and jump. But I've decided I'm going to do the sleeves and then finish it off.
I've been knitting away and I have finished the bottom hem of the bubble cardigan. So I'm well on my way to finishing this before the end of the month. Um, so I'm really excited about that. I ended up doing about a half inch less than what the pattern called for just because I thought that this was a good length um, and I didn't want it too terribly long. And it's going to be a little longer than I want anyways, I think. so. I'm fine with the three and a half in inches instead of four inches. And then I also went ahead, I don't know if you can tell, they went ahead and picked up for the collar. And I've done the pickup round and then also knit one round, or it's a two by two. So I did that. I'm going to keep working on it a little bit more. Um, this is also supposed to be three inches. Uh, before you do some German short rows. So I don't know if I'll do all three inches or if I'll do like two and a half inches. I'll wait and see what it looks like and what I feel like and we'll see. So maybe if I work really hard I may be able to get this done tomorrow on Wednesday or at least by Thursday I should be good to get it finished. So I'm really excited about that. Um, yeah. Just been watching some Downton Abbey and knitting away. I did a Zoom earlier with um, some friends from the Love and Stitches membership, which was really nice. So it's been a pretty good evening. So I'm just gonna do about probably another hour of knitting here and see how far I can get on, on this collar. Welcome to Wednesday. I thought since it was kind of the middle of the week, we would go over some numbers that I've been doing, how many hours, how many stitches, that kind of thing. Um, and I'm going to show you what I got done last night. So I did, I think I told you, I'm pretty sure, that I got finished with the bottom hem last night. So I'm really happy with that. I'm trying to find, okay. So here's my little stitch marker, my little corgi butt. This thing is so awkward. It's so big and on the needles so so I did from the little quirky butt down last yesterday and then bound off with an eye cord bind off um, so I did all of that so that was about 10 rows plus the eye cord bind off which is about three rows since you're knitting everything three times basically um, oh my allergies this is the quietest place I can be because the kids are in there the dogs are in there it's a mess. So I'm just going to chat with you outside. <laughs> and then I picked up and got quite a bit done on the collar. So this, I got 10 rows done. I'm thinking I'll do um, 20 to 15 more rows. Um, they just started doing the blower thing. Okay, they've stopped the noise for a second, so let's see if we can get this in. Um, so, I'm going to go over the stats real fast. Um, I just find it really interesting, and I've been getting more um, knitting time as the week goes on, but it's also because I've been more stressed, and yeah, it's just been a week. But anyways, so on Sunday, I did a total of 4,252 stitches, and I knit a total of 3 hours and 58 minutes. On that day, I was working on the bluegrass, 
the bubble cardigan and the salty air tea. So that was before I decided to focus on the bubble cardigan. Um, so the bluegrass got 984 stitches. The bubble cardigan got 2,112 stitches. And the salty air tee was 1,156 stitches. Um, then on Monday, I decided to just work fo focus on the bubble cardigan. So Monday and Tuesday were all bubble. Um, I ended up doing 6,800 stitches on the bubble cardigan, and that was all on the hem. So I think I did 20 rows on the hem, which was a lot of stitches. Um, and I ended up knitting for four hours and three minutes, which is very, very close to um, what I knit on Sunday as well. And then yesterday, Tuesday, I knit 9,000 stitches. That's a lot of stitches. I got a lot of knitting time yesterday. Um, I got a lot of my chores done and everything. I was able to just sit and kind of decompress a bit. So I ended up, and I stayed up really late. I shouldn't have stayed up that late. But I ended up doing six hours and 48 minutes of knitting yesterday, which is a lot of time. I swear I'm not lazy. Um, <laughs> but it was well needed and well deserved. So up to this point, Wednesday, or I guess, so Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, I have knit for 14 hours and 49 minutes and have knit 20,052 stitches. So that's a lot of knitting. It's interesting to see what the second half of the week will be like. Um, we're going to be out and about this week, the later part of this week, so I won't have probably as much knitting time, but I will have some car knitting. Uh, so we'll see. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm going to get the bubble cardigan done, which I'm so excited about. Um, and then I'm going to focus on my salty air tea so that I can start wearing that. And then, then I have some other exciting things that I want to cast on. So that is our midweek check-in, midweek update. Mm -hmm. almost done with my rows um I well I'm almost done with my main rows and then I have to do about I think 16 short rows on it um but that'll be pretty simple so I think I'm gonna get finished with this tonight hopefully I'm really excited I am doing a little bit less um just because I wasn't as thrilled with the how big his is and the pattern calls for of the ribbing and the collar. Um, so yeah, we are getting close. On Thursday, we drove up to the Funko headquarters and looked around. The kids had a blast, and I hope you'll enjoy watching all what we saw as well. There's so many ways to be happy, you can do whatever. 
Hello, it is the end of Thursday. Today's Thursday. Um, we had a long day, so we drove up and did a few things out and about in town. Um, had some things that we had to do here. Uh, so I didn't get a lot of knitting done because I was actually the one driving because Brian wasn't feeling that good. So I was hoping to get more knitting done today, but that's okay because last night I finished the bubble card again. I'm so excited. It still needs to a really good blocking. Um, and I have all the ends woven in. I did the weave and steepen. Uh, but I'm going to leave them before I cut them. I'm going to block it really good and then I will cut all those ends. So that I might put that in this video. Um, but it won't get done this week probably. Not to Sunday is my guess. Hopefully that, it just said that my battery was low, so hopefully that didn't pause you. If so, I will have done a little transfer, uh, but here it is. I will do, I'll show you better, obviously, at some other point. I might be doing a, like, over video or whatever, but I wanted to show, here's my little marker. So I did yesterday, um, this little quirky all the way up and then I did the bind off and woven a few little ends that I had like this one and things like that so it's done and I got it done a whole day earlier than I wanted to or actually today's the last day yeah two days it was yesterday or technically it was very early this morning um 20 what is today 28th no 29th yeah it's one day it's Sunday. Anyways, I got it done in time. So I'm very happy that this is done. It's off the needles. Um, and I can't wait to block it and wash it and then to get to wear it. So yeah, I'm really excited about it. I love this pattern. It was a lot of fun. Um, great stash buster since all of these were from stash. And then this yarn, actually, I have one in stash and then I got my friend Natalie at Blush Yarns to dye me up some more and she sent me two more skeins and I only use one skein plus like two grams of another skein so I barely barely broke into the other skein um if I had done the full four inches and the full three inches on the collar I would have used quite a bit more probably like 20 grams I'm thinking um so if you're going to do the, what the pattern says, you will need more. But um, since I, I didn't do quite as much because I just didn't want that, um, yeah, I only used two grams. But I did use it, so it's out of my stash because it is not fully skein anymore. It might be over 100 grams, but it's not. <laughs> but um, I have... So two skeins of this color that I can use for something else now is a great neutral, so I'm excited about that. So today I pulled out my um, Salty Air Tea, which I don't think I've actually shown on here. Um, so this is the Salty Air Tea, and I am using, find, I have the little yarn. I'm using it little Mani, and this is in color 84. Um, this is a, what is it? It's 85% cotton, 15% baby alpaca, and it is just so, so soft. It's not hard on your hands or anything. It's really, really amazing. Um, so I pulled this out to do some rows on it. I've gotten one row done today. Um, I did that at dinner when we were at dinner. Um, I was like, let me get my knitting out and then the food will get here. So I did one row and of course here came the food. So, um... I got that done and then I also went ahead and did my two repeats on the blue breast shawl. Um, so I got that done and I got the colors prepped for tomorrow. Tomorrow we also have a long day of um, travel and doing things out and about so I'm hoping that Brian will be driving for those and I'll be able to get some knitting in. Um, so yeah, you will see I'm really excited to see what progress I can get done tomorrow. Um, it took me just about an hour and 40 minutes to do the two repeats for for the bluegrass. So that's not too bad. It's what, like, I'm not going to do math right now. But about less than an hour to do a repeat. So that's not bad. 
So I'm going to keep trying to do that. Um, and then I really want to chug along on this and try to get it done for the next podcast. I'm not sure if that's going to happen. Um, I might. I'll just have to wait and see. So that is the update for today. And I'll see you tomorrow. Brian found this adorable hobbit hole that was not far from where we lived. So we took the Saturday and drove down to the Three Brothers um, garden area and got to see it. It was so fun and the kids really also enjoyed it. That's so cool. Yeah. I think I am a hobbit because I can stand closer to the fire. You're like a tall hobbit. Hi. Oh, cool. Oh, it's got electric and everything. Yeah. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. than me that can make you feel a whole week's worth of knitting. Um, I hope you had fun coming along with me as I knit throughout the week. It was kind of a mix of lots of knitting and not so much knitting during some days, which is just kind of a typical week for me. Um, but yeah, I still got stitches in every day, which is a blessing and something I always want to do. Um, so I'm going to put up a kind of a little list of every day and how much I knit each day versus every other day. Um, it was really interesting to kind of see what I got done. Um, so the total number of stitches that I knit in one week was 43,307 stitches. That's a ton of stitches. And I knit so much. <laughs> so I knit for 30 hours and 19 minutes in total. That's like a part-time job. It's crazy. So I spent that much time knitting. It's wild. I would love to know if you guys have ever calculated how much you knit in a week or how much time you've spent in a week. Let me know down below because I would love to kind of see what everyone else's was like and how many stitches people get in here and there. Um, I feel like I got a lot done this week, so this probably isn't an average week, um, but I don't know. Maybe I'll do it again in the future and we'll see. So I wanted to show you some of the progress that I got done on my three projects that I was working on. 
So I will pop in a picture of the bubble cardigan. Right now it is currently blocking right behind me. You can probably spot it here. Um, but I'm gonna be, it's almost dry, I think. I've had it out since yesterday, so I think it might be dry finally. Uh, but I am going to take some finished object photos of that in just a little bit, and I'll be sure to pop it in here for you. So I did finish that, which was my major goal of the week. I wanted to finish it by the end of June, and I did. I finished it on June 29th, so that worked out perfectly. I'm really pleased. Um, I think I'll love wearing it. I can't wait to, to try it on and to get to get some wear out of it. Um, so yeah, that was my major goal. And then the other goals were to do two repeats on my bluegrass shawl, which I didn't get done every day, but I did get quite a few repeats done throughout the week. I think I did that for like, I think I got three or four days of, of that done. So I will show you it in just now. I'll just show you now. Um, this was what my goal was. And you can see it's so pretty. Look how gorgeous it is. I am loving being able to use all my scraps. I've actually gone through almost all of my scraps and used them once. All the ones that are big enough to be used. Um, so I'm going to have to get out my scraps and start going through them again. But we have it here so pretty. I'm so excited about it. But I put in a little marker, my little heart marker right here. So I did from the heart marker up, which I think is a pretty good amount in a week, um, especially for brioche. Um, and then this is what I've done since my last podcast. But you'll have seen this because this is coming out after the podcast. Um, but not bad. I would have liked to have a little bit more progress done on it. But again, the bubble card again kind of took over. So I'm okay with it. Um, and then the other project was working on my salty air tea. Um, I am on stockinette, so it is going really smoothly right now. I'm really loving this yarn. I actually need to cake up another skein before I can knit any more. This is all I have right here. So I got quite a bit done on this as well. Isn't it so pretty? I think tonight I'm gonna actually work on the sleeves and get them finished and then finish off the body. I still have quite a few inches left them that I wanna do on it. Um, it was probably for the pattern, it's probably about right. But for, for what I want, I want it a little longer. So I'm gonna knit for longer and I have plenty of yarn so it's not a big deal to do that. But from where I started at the beginning of the week was, hold on, which one was it? In the beginning of the week, I think it was down here actually, because this is last night. So I think I started here and knit all of this. I'm pretty sure. If I'm wrong, I'll let you know. But I'm pretty sure that's where I started at. Yeah, it has to be from right here. Yeah. So I knit all of that this week on top of finishing the bubble cardigan and the bluegrass. It's a lot. So this is chugging along. I have, I tried it on last night. Um, and need a few more inches before I start the ribbing. So I'm gonna cake up that yarn and work on it tonight and then pass on some new things coming up. So that was my week of knitting. It's a little different than the other weeks of knitting I've seen. Um, so I hope that you guys enjoy it. I hope you see so, enjoyed seeing some of the things we did throughout the week as well and how our week was kind of crazy and out there, but we, we survived and we did it and it was a lot of fun. So another video I'm thinking about doing is a project start to finish um, and calculating like how many hours it takes me to finish that exact project. So if that's something you think you'd be interested in, um, let me know because it is an idea that I have. Um, so yeah, that's all I got for you today. I hope you guys have a great day or night whenever you're watching this and I'll see you in the next one.